British General Guy Carleton had a mission dislodge the American rebel forces gathered in and around Fort Ticonderoga. Carleton loaded several thousand troops onto transport boats and set sail from St. John on the Richelieu River, escorted by nearly 30 warships under the command of Captain Thomas Pringle. Further south on Lake Champlain, an American fleet of 15 ships were waiting, hidden in a three-quarter mile wide strait between Valcour Island and the New York shoreline. American General Benedict Arnold wrote his superiors, We have a wretched motley crew in this fleet, the Marines the refuse of every regiment, and the seamen few of them ever wet with salt water. Outmanned, outgunned, and inexperienced, Arnold would need to use the landscape to his advantage. At 8 o'clock on the morning of October 11th, the British fleet sailed past Valcour Island and spotted four of Arnold's ships that had been sent out to bait the British into the narrow strait. A strong southerly wind hampered the maneuvering of the larger ships, leaving much of the fighting to about 20 gunboats. The engagement continued until about 5 p.m. when the British decided to pull back. Arnold's fleet had been badly battered. He and his officers decided to make their escape under cover of darkness. The next morning, the cold wind from the north met the warm lake water, creating a dense fog. In the distance, Carlton saw what appeared to be the outline of a ship. He ordered his cannons to fire again and again, but to no effect. As the sun cut through the fog, Carlton was embarrassed to discover that the enemy ship was actually an island. The island that to this day is known as Carlton's Prize.